Even before the familiar telegraph key came this first Morse instrument, whose spark set fire to the world of communication. Sure, Western Union was boots and saddles, the golden spike in the railroad tie, singing wires, and the growing pains of a great nation. But everybody knows that Commerce Western Union did a job. The telegraph wire tied the cattle markets of Kansas to the tables of the East, hitched the cotton mills of New England to the southern plantations and the New York cutting tables. Other methods of communication were slow and tedious. The telegraph was the only means of rapid communication. It was direct. It was fast. It kept pace with the nation's expanding frontiers. Probably one of the more bizarre apologetics asserting the scientific accuracy of Job is the claim that Job 3835 refers to modern radio communication. The verse reads, Can you send lightnings that they may go and say unto you, Here we are? Apologists conclude that this verse is poetically describing the way light can be sent and then manifested as speech. Modern science has discovered that radio waves and light waves are two forms of the same thing, electromagnetic waves. In this sense, radio waves are a form of light. Using radio transmitters, apologists point out that our modern world can send lightnings, which indeed speak when they arrive, saying, in effect, here we are. God said, Canst thou send lightnings that they may go and say unto thee, here we are? Now wait, wait, wait. Is God telling Job that electricity can be used to send a message? Like radio, cell phone, microwave, TV? Electricity sends a message two different ways. Through the electricity through the wire and also through the electromagnetic force, the radio waves coming off of it. God told Job that 4,000 years ago. Marconi and them guys just discovered it in the last few hundred years. God asked Job Yet again we find the apologist making such a claim fumbling about the biblical text in their desperate search to conform any verse to their presupposed idea that Job manifests evidence of divinely inspired scientific accuracy. However, Job 3835 has nothing to do with sending electronic information, but instead refers to God commanding lightning to come out of heaven. The Hebrews and many ancient peoples believed as lightning flashed across the sky, it answered in the form of thunder. The larger context in which we find the verse is speaking of natural phenomena beyond human control. In Hebrew belief, such phenomena of nature were solely under the control of the deity. The preceding verse referred to clouds and rainfall. Can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with a flood of water? So the following verse, 35, remains in this context of natural phenomena referring to lightning which often accompanies rainstorms and has nothing whatsoever to do with the modern invention of radio communications. The verse is in reference to this anthropomorphic idea of nature, that it was almost alive and responded to the commands of God. In contrast, even as early as the 6th century BCE, Anaximander and Aximenes both believed that air smashing against the clouds caused thunder, which is far more a scientific explanation than that made in Job. <laughs> 